Hello and welcome to the garden for our week one full garden tour. Now, I released week zero garden tour like two weeks ago and then did not film a garden tour last week. So that's on me, <laughs> but I'm glad I waited because last week's weather was really stupid and it rained and it was cold and it was so windy that I mean I I couldn't really even be out here um, it was just like it, it, everything was blowing around all over the place so we are picking back up with the garden tours this week I'm gonna call this week one there is a lot of stuff out here that is different than week zero obviously because I planted some tomatoes um, now there is one tomato plant out here that may or may not be dead. I don't know yet. I'm gonna leave it in the ground for now and see what happens with it. Um, but actually today, I just planted like a lot of stuff out here, like literally like an hour ago. So let's um, get started. So first, let's just step back and just take a look at it in all of its glory. Um, there's still a lot of cardboard you can see um, over here. I haven't put any mulch down yet. There's also cardboard still back here that I need to mulch once I get all the tomatoes in. And there's also a bunch of tomatoes just sitting in here right now. But I did get my flowers planted in my hanging baskets this afternoon. These are uh, petunias. They are called, I don't know what they're called. I will put the name on the screen. <laughs> Um, but I got these at a local nursery a couple weeks ago, and I finally got them in this little pot. I actually made this, um, I converted this pot into a hanging pot. I just took some, like, string and braided it and attached it to the pot. And I did the other one also. This one I made into a hanging pot last year, but I planted it earlier today. And again, I don't remember what these are called, but I will put the name on the screen. They are so cute. Also, there's a bird right there. Hello, Mr. Bird. So let's go inside here because the first thing we have are the carrots. And these are getting pretty big. Um, they're not really close to being ready to pull, I don't think. They're only about, I don't know, four or five inches tall, some of them. But they are growing for sure. Now, I did have to thin this pretty intently um, a few weeks ago. They were all growing pretty much like on top of each other, uh, but they're looking better now. Um, these are a couple tomato plants that are supposed to be going in the garden. Those actually are gonna go in tomorrow. This is a Thorburn's terracotta, and this is the Chianti Rose, which is a potato leaf. Um, back here, the lavender is starting to get super green. And this is the first tomato that's in the ground. This is a black sea man tomato and it is a determinate plant and it has a flower on it. It's open. Um, some of my tomatoes did have a little tiny bit of frost damage. Um, like this one has some like leaf brown, like some brown spots on the leaves and stuff. But for the most part, everybody came out unscathed I think we'll see over the next week or so if um, everybody kind of perks back up. And then I have my whole tray of tomatoes out here that I have left. These are my tomatoes for my garden and um, the extras that I did not sell. This is not all of the tomatoes, there are still some in the greenhouse. Over here to my right, you'll note there is just empty ground here. I picked all the radishes um, this week and those are in my fridge right now. I'm going to be planting some more zinnias right here and I'm going to be replanting this zinnia because it did not make it past the frost but these two here did. So those are coming up. These are called candy stripe zinnias. The strawberry patch is beautiful and gorgeous and I love it. I'm not really sure like why these leaves have this like purpling. I think it may just be the variety because there's a lot of leaves in here that have that. But 
There are berries. There are berries in here, guys. And this makes me so excited. Like, I cannot even explain to you how excited I am about these berries. I have wanted strawberries for so long. I have had these plants for some of them three years, and I have not gotten any berries off of them yet. And this is the year, I think, that I'm going to have strawberries, and I am so excited about it. So if we move over here to the lettuce tower, I actually just planted some more stuff in here. Um, I also fertilized everything because some of the stuff in here is looking rough. This um, spinach is starting to bolt a little bit. This arugula is, I don't know if this is normal for arugula. I, I, I don't know, I've never grown it before. Um, we have our rocky top lettuce up here. Looking very lush. There's some oregano in here. Um, this is a little rosemary plant that I got from the same nursery I got the flowers. There's some more spinach, this is doing better. Some more lettuce in here. This is a lemon balm. I actually bought this because um, the seeds I started never germinated. So I bought some. This is marked as thyme, but I'm pretty sure it's oregano. I just planted this today. And I also planted this oregano, which um, fell over. So hopefully your sand's back up. Got some more arugula up here. Um, there's some chives that I bought the same nursery because once again, the seeds I started did not do anything. Um, I have some cilantro coming up over here. I started this from seed. And then I also put another thyme in here, which is a little sad because I just potted that. So next to the lettuce tower is the garlic tub still. It's still just sitting here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this. Um, but these plants, I mean, it's sitting on, it's sitting on a stepping stone right now, but I mean, this is like hip height to me right now, which is super cool. I don't know when I'm supposed to harvest this. So, over here, the peas are actually doing super well. Um, I was worried about them for a while, but they are growing. They are probably, these are probably like two feet tall right now. And I noticed earlier, this is the golden sweet peas. There is a pea flower on here. There it is, my very first pea flower. I have never grown peas. This is my first time and this is my first flower. And there's also one peeking out right here. So these are my golden sweet peas. And then these over here are called mammoth melting snow peas. And these are both um, peas that you eat, like snap peas. They're not like shelling peas. The rest of this area doesn't have anything in it yet. Um, it's just cardboard. But this pot down here, I have some more lettuce. Just little babies coming up. And there's some spinach coming up over here also. I just planted this um, pot with lettuce and spinach because I, I felt like I wasn't really getting enough off of the tower in terms of um, like salad greens. Like I didn't really have enough to make a big salad um, out of the tower for more than like me like every three or four days or even every week. So I went ahead, planted that other pot full of the Rocky Top lettuce mix and just, just some American spinach. And I think that will help supplement what I have back there. So next is tomatoes. Um, this area is weird right now because I've been using these grow bags as weight for the plastic tubs I've had over the plants the last few days, but they are gone now, they are off, and um, everything looks, well, let me just show you. So this is the Amish paste, and um, I don't know that it's still alive. That doesn't look good. Um, this up at the top, though, is still green-ish, so, 
I'm gonna leave this in the ground for the next, I don't know, I might give it like another week or two and just see if it does anything. If it does, I'll leave it. But if not, I will have to pull it up because like this is real crunchy down here. Um, next to that is the Aunt Ruby's German Green. And it has a little bit of frost damage, like some little brown spots, um, a couple crunchy leaves, but nothing too bad. And then today I noticed it has a flower on it that's pretty much open. So that's super exciting. Uh, otherwise, this plant doesn't look too bad. Um, compared to the other one, this one looks really good. Down here we have the large red cherry, and this plant looks, honestly, for being frosted on um, twice, it looks really good. Um, everything is a little bit purple because they got cold, but over the next week or so, once it warms up, it's supposed to warm up tomorrow, these should come back uh, with no issues. Over here is a Kellogg's breakfast, and this one looks super sad. Purple leaves and its branches are like tilted down. Like look at the back of these leaves. This is so sad, but look. A flower opened up. I noticed these earlier today. So he is okay. I mean, he doesn't have any, really any brown spots at all. So he'll, he'll pull through. Now, I don't have anything else in here until you come back over here. And this is our pink ox heart. And again, really sad looking. Um, he does have a few little brown spots. But again, flowers. Tomatoes continue to surprise me at their resilience. They don't like being frozen, obviously, but they will bounce back pretty quick. And then the last plant we have over here is the pineapple tomato. And this plant is really lush. It has a lot of branches. It does have a few little flowers on it down in here. Um, but I do think I maybe accidentally topped this plant because I think this may have been the top. I think that this branch is a sucker. So I may just let this sucker go and call this the main branch because I think that that might be the top of the plant land right there. We shall see. And like I said, everything looks a little purple, but over the next few days, they should green back up. So that's the garden tour. Um, there is more out here than there was the last time by a lot, but there is still not a ton out here. Over the next couple days, that's gonna change. I am planting all my tomatoes. I am planting the rest of my seeds. So my bush beans, my pole beans, my cucumbers, my uh, squash, my watermelons, my cantaloupes, all that stuff is gonna get planted out here over the next week or so, I would say. Um, today's Tuesday, it's supposed to get down to the mid 40s tonight, and then after tonight, it's gonna be 50 plus at night. So, yes, finally. Um, my peppers are going to be waiting to go out um, probably a couple more weeks. I'd like the nights to be consistently in the 60s before I plant the peppers just so I avoid them being stunted. I want peppers this year. I did top my plant, a few of my plants. I may go ahead and top all of them. Um, and they are starting to branch out into, you know, a more bushier plant, which is awesome. I'm gonna get my squash in the grow bags that are over here. They're not gonna live over here, but that's just where I had them because I was using them as weights. Um, I have delicata and my yellow crookneck squash as starts in the greenhouse. Um, the zucchini starts I had, I gave to my grandpa. So I'm just gonna direct sow those in the grow bag and they should come up with no issues. I'm gonna start some more zinnia seeds over there. <laughs> next to the other zinnias. And I'm also going to be starting some teddy bear sunflower seeds. 
I'm just gonna direct sow a bunch of those. I planted some dill in here. I don't know if I showed that, but I planted some dill in the lettuce tower this afternoon. I have two, I had two of those biodegradable um, like seed starter bags full of dill. I have one left in the greenhouse that I'm probably gonna put in the ground, but um, I went ahead and put this one in the lettuce tower just to see how it does. This thing is starting to get full and it makes me so happy. I just love it so much. <laughs> I love this lettuce tower. This was one of the best purchases I've made for the garden in a while. I love that everything is up off the ground. I don't have to worry about pests as much. So if you're looking for a way to grow lettuce, um, herbs, things like that, like leafy greens, this is a great solution. So there it was, or there it is. It's still here, it didn't leave. Uh, week one and a half, one, one and a half, two, I don't know. We'll call it week one. Week one garden tour is complete. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.